Do you ever wonder that uh, my stress levels are affecting my blood glucose or even in general my health? The answer is yes. So focusing on blood glucose level, I just got featured in our diatribe article for stress and diabetes, which I highly recommend to read. But what it breaks down is uh, stress, right? When it's more chronic stress, that is a chronic, long-standing fight and flight response. It could be untreated anxiety, untreated depression, um, unaddressed uh, mental stressors or thoughts, as well as environmental exposures, which lead to this long-standing or chronic elevation of cortisol and adrenaline. And that stimulates the liver production, hepatic gluconeogenesis, liver production of glucose, leading to this higher baseline of blood glucose levels. This has been very well looked at and clinically I see that in our patients with type 1 or type 2 diabetes uh, where they're using their continuous glucose monitor and during events like their boat exams or an interview, a couple of days prior uh, to that event occurring, I see that their baseline threshold is higher for the blood glucose level. Similarly, even if you don't have diabetes, it's very obvious physiological for us to have a higher glucose when there is chronic stress exposure as explained because of cortisol and adrenaline. How do you treat this? First, recognizing it, being aware of it. Second is certain techniques, which I call as breath work, and it's inspired by pranayam. So breathing in and breathing out, and uh, you can comment breath work, and I will share the free PDF uh, for you to go over along with resources and evidence-based uh, uh, links to it. The third is social support and seeking help. So social support would be anyone around you, your confidant, anyone you trust, um, as well as uh, mental health support, counselor, therapist, or even help of your physician, your healthcare professional to help you understand if that is really affecting your health.